This lecture is on eddy current surface inspection. The primary application of eddy current surface inspection is aerospace structures. However, it is also applied for surface inspection in a variety of industrial applications. The equipment required for surface inspection is shown here. There is a variety of equipment. The, the basic eddy current machine is normally a portable machine which is battery powered. It could be a single frequency or a dual frequency machine. Then we have a range of calibration blocks depending on the application. Here I have a stainless steel block with EDM notches with a range of depth say from 0.5 millimeter to maybe 4 millimeters. This is a similar block but it's made out of carbon steel. So if you are inspecting carbon steel, you would be using a carbon steel calibration block. Make sure that the notches are made by the process of EDM. If the inspection is done in, in, the, in welded structures, then you would have a calibration block which has EDM notches as well as some weld beads placed on it. For uh, aerospace structures, there is a lot of inspection done for the bolt holes and uh, this is the calibration block for the bolt hole inspection. This uh, is a special block and it has EDM notches actually machined inside the hole. So then we have a variety of probes to perform these inspections. So let's see, this is the probe which is used for the bolt hole inspection. This one has a coil on the tip of this probe and the probe rotates and we can actually put it inside the hole and uh, perform the calibration and then later do the inspection. For uh, surface inspection we have probes which are like this. This is a pencil probe with a 90 degree tip on it and uh, the inspection would be basically performed like this. And this is another probe which is a spot probe, eddy current spot probe. It has a coil which is right here and it's covered with the black tape just to protect the probe tip. And again for uh, the inspection we would place the probe like this and scan it like this. As you can see surface inspection is goes pretty fast. For welded uh, structures there is a big signal which actually we get from the lift off from the weld bead. So there are special probes which are used for welded structures and this is one of the probes which is called the weld probe and uh, it has a coil which is a cross axis coil to reduce the lift off effects and uh, if they are all commercially available then you would use a calibration sample like this. Now I will be <laughs> going to the performing a calibration setup on this machine and uh, the basic controls of these machines are the gain to increase or decrease the signal amplitude, the phase angle to rotate the signal and uh, basically balancing and then setting up the frequency. So step one is to select the probe, check the frequency if the frequency of the probe is between 50 to 500 kilohertz, which is going to be our case here, then I'll just set up the frequency on the machine to be like 100 kilohertz or 200 kilohertz. And uh, then as we went through the past lecture, in uh, any current testing, we have to set up the lift off to zero degree. So once I scan the calibration sample, I will check the lift off by performing this kind of a operation, moving the probe up and down and then check the lift off signal which I'll show you just in a minute. And uh, if the signal is not horizontal then we will rotate the phase, phase angle of the signal to make it horizontal. So let's go through that process now. Now let's perform the calibration. This is a spot probe and uh, here is the calibration sample. I will place the probe on the sample, balance the machine 
and then scan the notches. So we can see the signal, then I will perform a lift off test like this. Now what we notice is that the lift off is not horizontal so I'll change the phase angle to make the lift off horizontal and right here you can see the lift off is horizontal and then I'll scan the probe over the calibration standard to see the EDM notches and here we go we can see all the EDM notches right there once again I'll scan it and here is the lift off and uh, here are the EDM notch signals. The frequency of the probe is shown here. It's set up to 100 kilohertz right here. The gain on the signal is here. In case we want to adjust it, we can actually change the gain on the signal. The machine actually has two gains, horizontal gain and vertical gain and uh, one operation we can do to enhance the signal is to increase the vertical gain relative to the horizontal gain. This is the horizontal gain is 40 dBs and the vertical gain is 40 dBs. So I can actually increase the vertical gain by maybe 10 dBs and you can see that the vertical signal now is more enhanced than the horizontal. So again we will balance it and then we are ready to do the check of the calibration. The overall gain may not be too much. So let's check the calibration. The lift off signal is here and the signal from the notches is here half millimeter one millimeter, one and a half, two, two point five, and three millimeter. A demonstration of the surface inspection is shown here. I will be inspecting this uh, plate which has some notches machined into it for training purposes and the way we do the inspection is just hold the probe and follow a scan plan and then look for any signals. Again I'll show you the lift off is horizontal. So we will just scan it like this and if there is a EDM notch it's going to pop up on the screen. There is one there and you can see another one like that. So that's how the inspection is done. Surface inspection is pretty fast. The only thing we have to make sure is the coverage is that we have 100% scan coverage on the surface of the plate. So we have to develop a scan plan and make sure we follow the scan plan which would be to just scan it like this. Then once the scanning is done in this direction then you would scan in the other direction like this and look for any flaws in that direction.